Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 44 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to work with the G Vertex color slash alpha editing options. Now, what this is, it's a tool that's similar to the advanced patch editing, but uh, it's an easier way of doing blending. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So let's uh, open up Radiant. Whoa, what is this? I do not like this color. There we go. Look at my dirty girl. All right, cool. All right, so let's open up a map. Right click on this one. Just in case you guys didn't notice, I have the new update. Treyarch already hooked us up with some new assets, new models, new textures, a lot of good tweaks and fixes, and Radiant's running great. And there's also an extra button for you to run your map. So uh, let's open it up in Radiant. And let me show you guys how to do some blending with the G Vertex. There we go. All right, cool. As you guys can see, I have a lot of assets I was checking out. We got Brutus over here. I got this. Uh, statue from shadows of evil all right so let's make a patch so i'm gonna bring up my 2d window as you can see i'm right over here so i'm gonna drag out a brush and you have to do this from a top side view you can't do it from the side like this because it'll shrink the, br the patch so you want to do it from a top side view you know just make a brush go to patch go to terrain Go to simple terrain patch click on that now it's going to bring up terrain density now what we have to do here is we have to let it know how many verts we want on the width and on the height so in order to do this kind of blending you're going to have to increase the number like two two verts on each one isn't going to be enough so uh, for this one i'm going to do 20 and 20. you know it's up to you press okay and as you can see, I have my terrain patch. Let me shrink this down. And if I press V on the keyboard, that stands for verts. It's going to show us the verts. And as you can see, I have 20 on each side going in the width and in the height. Now, what we want to do with this patch is we want to texture it. So uh, let's give it a good texture. So I already have uh, two textures on my favorites. Let me just bag one of those. All right, so as your starting texture, you want to make sure that it's a basic texture, meaning that it's not a decal or a blend. Because if you work with two blends, you're just going to fall right through the floor. So the starting texture is just going to be a basic texture. It could be a lit, lit plus. As long as it's not a blend or a decal, it's fine. So we're going to start off with this lit texture, which is a grass texture. I'm going to double click on that. And as you can see, I have a grass texture. Now let's say if I want to um, go to the surface inspector and make this natural. You know, that way it'll give it more of a natural look. Uh, when working with patches, there's actually a second option when it comes to like a surface inspector type. So normally you would press S and it'll bring up this tool. And you would just hit natural. Now, this is just made for regular brushes. This isn't made for patches. Now, if I hold shift and press S, it'll bring up the patch properties. Now, this is the same as Surface Inspector, but it has the tools that you, you're going to want to use. And it works out a little bit better. So I'm going to select this patch that we made. Now, in order to select it, either you could hold shift and left click, you know, select it like that. That's the basic way of selecting something. When working with patches or brushes, if you want to see how many textures you actually have on there, or at least select it, you, all you have to do is just right click. You know, uh, make sure that your cursor is right on it. And if you right click, you'll see it right over here. As you can see, grass distance, A. So I'm going to click on that. As you can see, it selected it. Now we're going to copy this 
and we're basically we're going to duplicate it. So there's two ways of copying this. Well, let me hit natural now that we got it selected. All right, close this out. Now we want to copy this. So there's two ways of doing it. Either you could uh, do a regular copy and paste, you know, hold control and press C, hold control and press V while the patch is selected. And if I right click it now, you'll see that I have two patches now because it's saying the duplicate name and one of them is selected because it has a check on the left. So with uh, one of these selected, you know, we already made a clone of it. Let's give it a new texture. And I'm going to give it a decal texture now because decal is what we're going to use to do a blend. Double click. And if I hit escape, now I have two patches right on top of each other. And so far it's showing us the decal. Right click. And as you can see, none of them are selected. If I click one of them, it'll select that brush. Like we don't want to work with the grass because that's a basic texture. The only time you do blending is with a decal or a blend. So we're going to click on this one. It says blend on there. Select that. And then we're going to press V on the keyboard. Remember that stands for verts. So press V and it's going to show you all the verts. Now your verts are these purple and green items on your patch. And these are the parts that you can select and blend out. So let's say if, uh, well, let's bring up the G vertex tool. Now the tool we're going to be using, all you have to do is press G on the keyboard. And there it is. G vertex color slash alpha editing. Now what we want to do is you want to make sure that alpha is checked right over here. That's if you want to do alpha blending. Now you can do your own custom tele uh, color with the hue sasser, uh, saturation. You know, you could also make a custom color to blend it out along with it. Now we're just going to be using these two patches because I already picked out the textures we're going to use. So make sure alpha is checked. And you also want to make sure that real time is checked. Now, the reason we're checking real time is if we do any changes, it's going to change or at least show up right on the spot. We don't have to hit apply. So that's why I'm making sure that real time is checked. All right, so now that we uh, already have our patches, we press V and it's showing us the verts. Remember, if you press V, it'll take them away. If you press V, it'll bring them up. So we want to make sure that they're showing. And if you drag right over them, it'll select the area that you're dragging right over. See, it turns blue. Now, let's say if you want to select this little area, but you want to select another area right over here. Hold shift and whoa, control V. If you uh, hold shift and left click, you can select the whole row. See that? Let's say if it, if I uh, hold shift and left click, it'll select this row. Let's say if I wanted to get this row right over here, you just do another left click while holding shift again. And bow switch to the, uh, to the next row. All right now, let's say if you wanted to select more than one row, hold Control and Shift, and you can select multiple rows. Now let's say if uh, if I just wanted to select this little area, just hold Control, and as you can see, it's selecting just certain spots that are turning blue. Now the spots that are turning blue, those are the spots that we could now blend out. So I'm going to bring this slider. As you can see, it says alpha and it says value. Now this is your slider bar. It's kind of like the amplitude. Now the higher it is, that's to bring the texture, well, to at least to apply it. And if you bring it down, it's to take it away. And as you can see, it's actually changing up the texture now. It's fading it away. So if I bring it down, it takes it away. If I bring it up, it puts it on. Now let's say if I uh, go there, hit apply, hit escape. Check that out. It took away that texture. Now let's say if I um, right click, select the blend texture again, 
because that's the only one you can manipulate is the blend and you want to press V on the keyboard we'll select the whole thing and then I can start adding it to it slowly bring it up hit apply hit escape and check it out now it blended both together now let's say if I wanted to do like a little walkway path right click it select it press V to bring up the verts select the verts that you want to manipulate see if I get that little row right there bring it down and it's gonna take it away either press apply or hit escape and check that out now you have a little walkway so that's how you use the G vertex alpha editing so remember select it remember it has to be the blend press V on the keyboard to bring up your verts select what vert you want you can hold control and select multiple spots and then let's say if the slider is already down on the bottom just hit apply and it'll take it away if you start moving it up it's gonna put them back on but let's say if I left it like that and I hit apply now oh, check it out now it took away those little spots and that's the reason why you put as many verts as possible because the more verts you have the more you're gonna be able to work with so uh, I hope you guys like this video you know it's hopefully it'll help out instead of using the option when you press Y and it's this one the advanced patch editing options this is a little tougher this one is a little bit more manageable the G vertex so if you guys like the video hit that like button subscribe I should see you guys in another video hopefully later on today you know where I'm gonna show you guys how to add animations to uh, some of the new models and you'll be able to use the atom trees to do that and I should be uh, working on Brutus soon hopefully to get him in game I already uh, converted over the models or at least the animations and uh, it's that was the hard part. Now the easy part is just switching them up and putting them in the game. All right, so you know the deal. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.